In other matters, the federal government and organized labor have received the report of the Technical Committee on Premium Motor Spirit Pricing Framework. The committee was set up to come up with a workable framework for petrol price modulation. At the end of the bipartite meeting in the early hours of the morning, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, assured organized labor of government commitment to honor its own side of the bargain in the interests of industrial harmony. Our pledge on the government side is that whatever decisions are reached, we will ensure that government honors its own part of the bargain so that we can maintain and sustain industrial harmony in our nation. The meeting is called because uh, we got uh, reports from uh, the technical committee we set up on the oil and gas. I've always worked. The Interministerial Committee on the Disposal of Assets forfeited to the federal government says the forfeited assets are currently situated in 25 locations across Nigeria. Chairman of the committee and Solicitor General of the Federation, Dayo Akbata, says we will embark on an on-site verification and auditing exercise to confirm their existence and current state. Kemi Balogun reports. This is the first time this interministerial committee on the disposal of assets forfeited to the federal government will be meeting to update the public on its activities since it was inaugurated in November 2020. The committee's operations are in line with the anti-corruption drive of the present administration with the aim of safeguarding the assets recovered by relevant agencies. The need for efficient management of recovery of assets. The committee was also set up to ensure proper coordination of the disposal of the federal government's assets and for the promotion of a uniformed, harmonized and transparent procedure. For the first time in Nigeria, the uh, members of this interministerial committee have decided to, we have signed a declaration of conflict of interest. It has never been, it has never happened in Nigeria. The committee is presently working on the assets that have been finally forfeited. Finally is because in the sense that there are still some that are in court, pending before court. We are not touching those ones. The team has now traced some of the assets to 25 locations across the country and will conduct an on-site verification and audit of the assets to confirm their existence and their current state. The committee also intends to engage valuers and auctioneers as part of the process in the disposal of those assets recovered. We are also going to all every, the 25 locations spreading across uh, the Nigeria to check all those uh, uh, assets. We have received, and we are still receiving, uh, details and assets from EFCC, ICPC, the Navy, the Civil Defense, the police, and even the Masa. The committee was set up after a presidential directive in October 2018 following recommendations of the Presidential Audit Committee on Recovery and Management of Stolen Assets and a need for efficient management of those assets. Within the next six months, the committee will keep working with relevant agencies in accordance with extant laws and regulations, and the proceeds are expected to also be a source of additional revenue for the country. Kemi Balogun, TVC News, Abuja.